Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be looking on the introduction of the 16 Mahajanapdas. Now let us have a brief look about what is Mahajanapdas all about. The period of Mahajanapdas, 600 BCE, is also known as the period of second urbanization as the center of polity and economy shifted from India's north, west to eastern states. Urban settlement and the use of iron tools enabled the formation of large territories called Mahajanapdas. At that time there were 16 such Mahajanapdas, as per Buddhist text Anguttara Nikaya which is a part of Sutta Pitaka. We all would have been wondering on why did the large states rise? Let's dive into it. Ganga plains were fertile and closer to the iron production centers and iron technology resulted in surplus collection. The rise of large states, with major towns developing as an administrative centers, changed the allegiance from Jana to Janpada. Now, let us look in brief about the 16 Mahajanapdas one by one. Anga had its capital at Champa, located in the confluence of Ganga and Champa rivers. It was important trade center for traders moving to Southeast Asia, Suvarnabhumi. Next comes Vajji Kingdom with Vashali as capital in North Bihar. It was Republic state with many clans example Lichavis with capital as Vashali, Vaidhans with capital as Mithila and Jnatrikas, Mahavira belonged to this clan. Next comes the kingdom of Malla which had two capitals at Kushinara and Pava. It was also a republic state. Buddha took his last meal at Pava and entered Mahaprinirvana at Kushinara. Kashi follows with its capital at Varanasi and was incorporated into kingdom of Kosala by King Kansa. Let us learn about the kingdom of Magad, which had its capital at Rajagriha or Girivraja. Haryanka dynasty ruled the Magad. Followed by it comes to the kingdom of Koshala, which had two capitals known as Shravasti in north and Kushavti in south divided by Sarayu river. Its king was Prasenjit was a contemporary of Buddha. It included tribal republic of Shakyas, capital Kapilvastu, birth of Buddha at Lumbini. Next comes the kingdom of Vatsa with its capital at Koshambi, which was at confluence of the Ganga and Yamuna. Ruled by King Udyana, central character in three Sanskrit dramas which are Swapnavaswadatta by Bhasha, romantic narratives about Udyana and Vasvadatta, the daughter of the ruler of Avanti, Ratnavli, by Harsha, story of beautiful princes named Ratnavli, and King Udyana, Priyadarshika, also by Harsha. Now let us look about the Chetia kingdom who had its capital Shuktinti which was ruled by King Shishupala. Panchala kingdom has two capitals Ahichatra as capital of northern Panchala and Kampilya as capital for southern Panchala as Ganga river divides state into two parts. The kingdom of Kuru had its capital at Indraprastha. Mahabharata elaborates on the conflict between two branches of the reigning Kuru clan. Shursena with its capital at Mathura along with its king Avantipura who was disciple of Buddha. Matsya kingdom was founded by Virata and its capital was Virtangara. Now it comes to the kingdom of Avanti which was divided into two by the Vindhyas where northern Avanti had Ujjain as its capital while southern Avanti had Mahishmati as its capital. Its king was Pradyota who was father in law of Udyana followed by Aska with its capital Portli in modern Nizamabad in Telangana. It's only Mahajanapada lying south of Vindhyas. Now, it comes to the kingdom of Gandhara where its capital is Taxila which was major center for trade and learning. The Behistun inscription of the Achaemenid emperor Darius mentions that the Persians conquered Gandhara in the later part of the 6th century BC. Proceeding with the kingdom of Kamboja, which its capital at Pucha, and was located in Rajori and and Hajra of Kashmir and in north-west frontier province of Pakistan. Famous in ancient times for their excellent breed of horses, 
and as remarkable horsemen located in the Uttarpatha or Northwest. Among the 16 Mahajanapdas, a power struggle broke out between Magadh, Kusala, Vriji and Avanti, leading to the emergence of Magadh as the most powerful state. Magadh's rise to political supremacy began with Bimbisara, who belonged to the Haryanka dynasty. For more lectures, do subscribe the channel. Thank you.